Item number, SCP Spooky-J. Object class, safe. Correction, Euclid. Spooky containment procedures. SCP Spooky-J cannot be faithfully contained due to the nature of its being. In the event that SCP Spooky-J manifests outside its container chamber, it is to be escorted back to its chamber and recontained. SCP Spooky-J's containment chamber is a standard humanoid containment chamber with a single lock security door to ensure simple containment. Description. SCP Spooky-J is visually identical to a typical human skeleton, standing 1.72 meters in height and weighing 5.44 kilograms. The skull, face, and jaw structure of SCP Spooky-J is completely flexible and grants it the ability to make a range of facial expressions despite its lack of muscles or flesh. As well, SCP Spooky-J is capable of vocalization and sapient thought. SCP Spooky-J is capable of vanishing and manifesting at will to any location within 66.6 .6 meters from its original position during the month of any major commercial holiday. Individuals in the location of SCP Spooky-J's manifestation often report a subtle rattling noise originating somewhere behind them. Individuals exposed to SCP Spooky-J and its anomalous effects are to be administered Class A amnestics prior to recontainment of the entity. When interacting with living human subjects, SCP Spooky-J will typically display display verbally aggressive behavior, often in the form of insults and challenges to physical altercations. Despite this behavior, SCP Spooky-J has yet to seriously or purposefully injure a living subject out of observable malice. SCP Spooky-J displays an anomalous understanding of individual subjects, mothers and sisters, where these relations are applicable. Entry Incident, October 28th, 2016. The following incident took place between Dr. Randy M. Filler and SCP Spooky-J prior to a recontainment incident. What the fuck? Again? SCP Spooky-J, you insufferable fuck! Stay away and stay the fuck in your chamber before I beat your sorry ass! You can't tell me what to do, you skin sack! Davy Bones does as he pleases! Shut Do you even care anymore? This is why nobody visits you anymore! Jesus, you're so fucking annoying! Shut your dong slobber, fuck boy! You can't rattle these bones! You can't rustle these jimmies! Spooky Dash J, if you keep this shit up, I'm gonna call security down here and get you terminated if you don't. You're gonna what? Kill me? I'll fuck you up, you bitch! Then I'll fuck your mother! I'll no scope you! I swear to God! Why do you have to do this every year? Jesus, you're an absolute twat waffle! Suck my scalaballs! SCP Spooky SJ and Dr. Filler proceeded to argue for several minutes before Dr. Filler was removed from the observation room and dismissed from active duty in Site 12 and has been placed on paid leave. Entry Incident November 23rd, 2016. SCP Spooky SJ appeared in the cafeteria of Site 12 and began to collect all the uneaten holiday food into several trash bags before disappearing from staff perception. It then appeared in the quarters of Dr. Randy M. Filler and smeared cranberry sauce across the surface of his desk before consuming large amounts of bread stuffing. It's Thanksgiving! Ah! You asshole! You ruined my novel! SCP Spooky Dash J continues to consume excessive amounts of stuffing where it exits SCP Spooky Dash J's body through its ribcage and now is coating the floor. Why are you even doing this? You don't even have a stomach, you fuckwit! I do it because I love you, Dad! SCP Spooky SJ throws the rest of the bag at the wall where it bursts open of Dr. Filler's bed and proceeds to run out of the room before security can arrive. Dr. Filler has hence requested to transfer to another site. Request pending. Entry Incident 1224 to 1225, 2016. 1950 hours, SCP Spooky SJ exits its containment chamber undetected. 2030 hours, the hubcaps from all vehicles in Site 12 staff garage go missing and are not found for several hours. 2314 hours. Dozens of large gift wrap boxes appear in the common area of Site 12 while the room is vacated. 0110 hours. 
SCP Spooky J appears in its containment chamber displaying erratic, excited behavior. It is wearing a green Santa hat at this time. Oh, 0750 hours, it, an announcement is made that staff vehicles have been vandalized and on site personnel display warranted agitation. 1035 hours, various personnel enter the common area of Site 12 and discover the gift wrap boxes on the wall farthest from the doorway is the statement. Merry Christmas Fuckboys is painted in expired gravy. 10.55 hours, all gift wrap presents are opened by an EOD team and are discovered to contain the stolen hubcaps from the staff garage. A request has been submitted to the administrative board on the topic of the termination and archival of SCP Spooky-J to prevent future nuisances and possible hazards to Site 12. Entry Incident February 14th, 2017. Dr. Randy M. Filler received an anonymous package containing a human tibia and a letter reading, This Valentine's Day, I'd like to be your fuckboy from your spookily. Contents of the package have been moved to forensic storage. Dr. Filler has requested an indeterminate leave of absence after receiving this package. Request, again, denied. Oh my god, SCP Spooky-J, that was just freaking amazing. I love that skip. That is the end.